<clears throat> oh, is this thing on? Cool. All right. Hey, everyone. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to properly set up your screen flow recordings when you're trying to record uh, uh, your sound from your DAW tool of choice. In my case here, I'm using uh, Propeller Head Record and Reason. And uh, yeah, I've had like the worst time ever trying to set up uh, in the past um, to get the sound flowing, you know, correctly into ScreenFlow. What I used to do before is record it in a separate tool. Sometimes was uh, Ableton Live, and uh, eventually I just said, you know what, this is a stupid process having to like import the WAV file separately after and tweaking it to the millisecond just to get everything in sync, just correctly and yeah pain in the ass uh, to say the least so now i figured out a way how to record um everything in sync uh, right off the bat by flowing uh record source um output sorry uh directly into screen flow so um the little trick to it and some people have said Oh, well, you need this uh, third-party software called Wiretap Anywhere. Um, Wiretap Anywhere is a pretty cool software. I haven't really tried it myself yet. Um, it looks very promising for recording different sources and tapping, as it implies, uh, into other programs. And, like You can do pretty much anything you want with it. But the free alternative... Um, is to create an aggregate, uh, aggregate device. And uh, here in my case, I created one, renamed it to fake. And since I wanted to hear the sound straight directly through my Motu Traveler and actually use it as well for uh, my microphone input, um, I, uh, I wanted to make use of it, but then at the same time, ScreenFlow wouldn't allow me to um, because it couldn't record the sound uh, of the microphone and uh, propeller head recorded reason at the same time. I, it was either or, or I can't remember what exactly. Um, because the Mojo Traveler is not the core audio device, I think. I'm it, this might be a false statement, but I had the worst time trying to set this up, and this really works well for me. So, Soundflower is free by Cycling74. I think it's Cycling74. Yeah. Cycling something with a number on it. And, uh, yeah. Once you get those two things working for you, um, basically, you add your audio interface, whether it's USB, FireWire, or whatever, in my case, it's Motu Traveler, and then the Soundflower two channel will suffice for this uh, uh, screen flow purpose. And then, yeah, you're good to go. One thing to mention is always make sure that your clock source is the uh, your actual hardware device, not Soundflower. The other thing too, I think it's mandatory, is to make sure the resample checkbox is unchecked and I want to actually try it right now because I am recording and that could just F everything up right now so that's it for the audio device uh, configuration and now for uh, for recording reasons preferences so you want to do something similar you want to use the audio device your fake device aggregate device sorry and then you can go ahead and select all the inputs if your machine can actually you know tolerate that if you can handle all those inputs and then the output you want to make sure you got the first and second which is typically on most hardware device your main output um, sometime will it will redirect to your uh, headphones as, as well uh, the Motu Traveler is really nice for that. You can actually output to your main speakers, external speakers, and the phone jack at the same time. Um, and output 23 and 24, 
which is the very last uh, output um, in the stack of your aggregate device, which in this case would be uh, your Soundflower bed uh, output one and two. So knowing that, um, and none of the middle ones are checked. We don't need you know, all 22 outputs on the Mojo Traveler. So if you take a look at the back, uh, so in Record and Reason, the uh, audio I.O. interface um, presents, you know, all the different inputs on one side and the output on the other one. Um, this here is a microphone. If I unplug it, you will not hear me. Hello. There you go. So, yeah, I'll leave that plug. And, uh, okay, and the output one and two, that's for my main speakers. Three and four, because it's not, um, like, the way uh, the outputs are set up, uh, even if all those check boxes that was in preference panel are unchecked, um, like, recorded reason is going to go ahead and just chop out all those outputs in the middle and assume, okay, three and four then is your last ones that you've checked. So it's essentially uh, 23 and 24, your Soundflower device. And that's that. And yeah, um, you can play just as you would normally in Reason. And the sound flows through just like water down a river. Something like that. So that's it. And I will look to make a video very shortly on uh, sound effects channels uh, off of a mixed channel strip. Kind of a top secret tip. So that's that. Enjoy and have fun mixing. See ya. <laughs>